morning students so students today we are starting our unit 9 that is fraction so you must have some idea in your previous class about fraction but let's start from basics so fraction represents the part of a whole okay this is the definition of fraction fraction represents the parts of a whole means the lower part here this represents the whole means total kitne parts the hamare paas total kitni cheez thi and it represent how many parts we are considering so means total parts it is represented here in downward and how many parts of that is represented in the upper okay so let's move do this this is page number 80 question number 1 and 2 but fractions for the shaded part of each group so from the definitions first we count the total that is 12 so it will come down and how many shaded part so this is the 5 so 5 upon 12 is the answer so here also similarly this here 2 by 6 because this and this is shaded not come here and here 9 by 12 so what we are doing we are writing the whole total parts in the downward and shaded portion in the upper side okay now let's do question number 2 here total is 9 okay that is count you can count these are the 9 Squares, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Out of which you have to shade five, so you can shade any five of these, okay. One, two, three, four. These five. This is the. This can be done. Okay. Any, any, any five you can shade, okay. Now in B part, you have to shade only one. Here you have to shade seven parts. Left only the one part, okay. So I hope you understand this. In fraction, hmm, represents the parts of a whole. The lower portion. represents the total parts means total parts kitne hai and upper part upper portion divided by defi defines the how many parts we are considering okay now upper part lower part the name of the upper part is called numerator i don't use numerator word before because i want to tell you here the upper part in the fraction okay like 5 by 12 here 5 is the numerator and 12 is the denominator so total parts of a whole is denominator and number of parts we are considering that is the numerator so upper part upper part is called the numerator and lower is the denominator let's move to question number 3 numerator is 5 denominator is 8 fraction should be 5 upon 8 similarly in this 3 upon 17 in this 6 and denominator is 10 1 upon 4. Here numerator is 1, denominator is 4, fraction is 1 upon 4. Let's move to here now. Look, comparison. So if two fractions have the same denominator, then the fraction with the greater value of the numerator will be greater. Now look, students. If we have two fractions like 2 upon 7, 5 upon 7, and I ask you which is the greater? Now look. Here the denominator is same. Then we must say now look at the numerator. Here two is smaller, five is greater. So obviously five upon seven is greater. Now remember, in class fourth, you are considering with the fractions having the same denominator. Okay. In next class, you will come to know that what we will do if there is different denominators. But here we are considering with the same denominators. So it is very easy. Now let's see. So comparing, obviously look here all the denominators are same in all the questions. Okay, all the denominators are same. There is no no question is there in which denominator is different. Now let's see comparing. So which is greater? Obviously, this one is greater. In here, both are equal. Here, this one is greater, and here this is equal. Now solve. Now in addition and subtraction, if the denominator is same, just add the numerator and write denominator as it is. Now look what we will do. We just write nine here. Four plus one five. Five upon nine. Means don't add nine plus nine. Okay, we will write only once. Now eleven, eleven, eleven. The answer here. What we will do? Here, eleven in denominator and add five plus three, eight plus two, ten. Means what we are doing actually? We are just writing the denominator as it is and subtracting or adding the numerators. हमें क्या करना है हमें डिनोमिनेटर्स जैसे भी हैं उनको एज इट इज लिखना है उनको ना ऐड करना है ना सब्टैक्ट करना है मीन्स नाइन प्लस नाइन एटीन होते हैं लेकिन बट वी विल डू वी जस्ट राइट नाइन हेयर 
here similarly and for plus 1 5 and here 8 and so look here denominator is 8 so 8 and 7 minus 2 answer is 5 I hope you get it so I am not doing all the sums I am just giving you an idea and overview of this lesson now let's move to ahead here the next term is equivalent fractions okay this is new topic here in the fourth class previous one was just the introduction or revision of your previous class that is class third now equivalent fraction fractions which express the same part of a whole but have different names fractions which express the same part of a whole but have different name means 1 upon 2 2 upon 4 4 upon 8 5 upon 10 both all are half of the whole means look half of 2 is 1 half of 4 is 2 half of 8 is 4 half of 10 is 5 all are half but look the values are different the numbers the representation is different the names is different but the actual thing is that this represent the half of half means half of 2 half of 4 half of 8 half of 10 okay the fractions which express the same part of a whole but have different names means they have the same part of a whole meaning is same but expressions is different that is known as the equivalent fraction now represent 1 upon 2 just divide this in two parts shade 1 now let's divide into part shade 1 part 4 divide this in 4 parts and shade any 2 here divide this in 8 parts and shade any 4 parts now here you have to divide this in 3 parts here 6 parts 3 1 2 3 4 5 and one more 6 parts and here we have to divide in 12 so first divide this and then 1 2 3 4 4 5 6 I hope you understand this and share you have to share only four parts okay here you have to share two parts here you have to share one part two parts like this this is the equivalent fraction let's move so in circle the equivalent fraction in e set of fractions okay you know 1 by 2 this is equivalent to 2 by 4 6 by 12 and 3 by 6 now look equivalent fraction can be obtained by multiplying the same numbers in numerator and denominator now 1 by 2 now 2 upon 4 can be obtained by multiplying numerator and denominator by 2 similarly 6 by 12 can be obtained by multiplying numerator and denominator by 6 3 upon 6 can be obtained by multiplying here by 3 in numerator and denominator okay similarly in b part the 2 by 3 its equivalent fraction is 4 by 6 by multiplying 2 and 3 by 2 and 10 by 15 by multiplying by 5 5 to the 10 5 3 is 15 all other are different 1 upon 4 here the equivalent fraction is 2 upon 8 3 upon 12 and 5 upon 20 5 upon 7 its equivalent fraction is 10 upon 14 55 upon 77 means multiplying by 11 and 20 upon 28 multiplying by 4 so now in here take the equivalent fractions now 2 upon 3 2 4 the 8 3 4 the 12 so this is equivalent 5 upon 6 10 upon 18 5 to the 10 6 to the, 6 to the 12 not 18 15 to the 30 16 this is not equivalent 3 upon 4 9 upon 16 3 3 the 9 4 3 the 12 no means we have to multiply numerator and denominator by same number 11 upon 12 33 upon 36 now 11 3 is a 33 12 3 is a 36 so this is equivalent 17 upon 20 25 is a 100 17 5 is a 85 so this is also equivalent so i hope you understand equivalent fractions means we have to multiply that fraction by same number means numerator and denominator by same number yeah it can be one two three not one two three four five six because if we multiply by one we got the same number but we need different numbers so that's why not one except that like two three four five six any other okay now let's see write the next four equivalent fraction i will solve only one part others you can solve okay now look try to understand 1 upon 3 this is the fraction now 2 upon 6 3 upon 9 what is happening 
multiplying this multiplying this numerator and denominator by 2 we get 2 upon 6 because 1 2 is a 2 3 2 is a 6 multiplying this by 3 we got 3 upon 9 now multiply it by 4 we got 4 upon and 12 5 upon 15 6 upon 18 and 7 upon 21 student please not don't go through the pattern like means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like this is not a pattern okay remember this is a fraction so what we are doing we are multiplying by the same numbers okay multiplying numerator and denominator of a but smallest fraction by a same number like here the lower one is 1 upon 3 now we are multiplying this by a like here 2 3 4 5 6 7 that's why we got it okay don't just assume like 1 2 3 4 now similarly we can do other parts also okay 2 upon 5 number here multiplying by 2 3 now 4 4 se karenge to iska jayega 2 4 is 8 and 5 4 is 20 okay i am not doing others i am just explaining you this way now let's question write three question number four write three equivalent fractions for each so first is one upon seven i will solve only one let's solve this one here d part i have to so write three equivalent fraction of 10 upon 13 now multiply it by 2 we got 20 upon 26 because 10 to the 20 13 to the 26 now multiplying by 3 3 से करेंगे तो हो जाएगा 10 3 जा 30 13 3 जा 39 नेक्स्ट के लिए 10 से कर लेते हैं मल्टीप्लाय 10 10 जा 100 एंड 13 10 जा 130 नाउ रिमेंबर देयर इज नॉट लाइक यू हैव टू जस्ट मल्टीप्लाय 2 3 और 4 यू कैन मल्टीप्लाय बाय लाइक लाइक 10 20 30 आल्सो ओके दैट कैन दैट इज आल्सो इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस सो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग फॉर मेकिंग इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग द this by same numbers remember that multiplying either if we multiplying it by 2 we should multiply numerator by 2 if we multiply numerator by 3 we should multiply numerator also by 3 that's the equivalent fraction so let's see find the missing numerator on denominator now this is now 1 upon 2 4 now look how to how 2 will shift change to 4 2 multiply 2 the answer will be 2 because these are the equivalent fractions because we have here they put the equal sign 6 3 is 18 the 4 3 is 12 7 6 is 42 9 6 is 54 so in this way we can do this now let's move to question number 2 find the equivalent fraction of 1 upon 3 with numerator 1 by 5 now look, look how we'll do it i will explain two parts 1 upon 3 e equal to numerator 5 so here numerator 5 and we have to find the denominator 1 5 is a 2 3 5 is a 15 this is the answer of this and let's solve this one no let's solve this because the denominator like it should be different yeah so 1 upon 3 and denominator is 18 so what should be numerator this is this we have to find now 3 6 is 18 to 1 6 is 6 this is the answer similarly change 5 upon 9 into an equivalent fraction with denominator 54 in question number 3 okay so 5 upon 9 we have to change into it with denominator 54 so 9 6 cha. so 5 6 cha, 30 this is the 30 okay this is the answer now remember what we are doing we are just checking by what number we multiply to get this number given number 9 say sorry this is 54 okay 5 upon 9 dash upon 54 okay i wrote by mistake so 9 6 ja, means 9 multiply by 6 we got 54 now we have to multiply numerator by the same number so 5 6 ja, 30 i hope you understand i am leaving question number 4 for you just to try it in your rough notebooks now let's move to now check for equivalence of two fraction now let's see if we have a two fraction how we check that whether the fractions are equivalent or not let's say there are the two fractions like 2 upon 3 and 10 upon 5 so there is a term cross product what we will do we multiply numerator by denominator of other denominator by the numerator of other so 2 multiply 15 answer is 30 
3 मल्टीप्लाय 10 आंसर इज 30 नाउ इफ दिस दिस नंबर मींस यहां मल्टीप्लाई करके ये जो नंबर आएंगे इफ दे आर सेम देन द फ्रैक्शंस आर इक्विवेलेंट और ये सेम नहीं आएंगे देन द फ्रैक्शंस आर नॉट इक्विवेलेंट लेट्स आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अगेन पहले का न्यूमिरेटर दूसरे का डिनोमिनेटर पहले का डिनोमिनेटर दूसरे का न्यूमिनेटर और दूसरे टर्म्स में इजी टर्म्स में अगर याद रखना है तो ऊपर से नीचे मल्टीप्लाई क्रॉस बनाना है आपको ओके लाइक दिस सो हियर न्यूमिनेटर डिनोमिनेटर डिनोमिनेटर न्यूमिनेटर और उनका प्रोडक्ट मींस मल्टीप्लाई करने पे अगर आंसर सेम आता है इफ वी गॉट द सेम आंसर देन दैट फ्रैक्शंस आर इक्विवेलेंट अदरवाइज दे आर नॉट इक्विवेलेंट सो लेट्स जस्ट सॉल्व ओनली आई विल आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ओनली जस्ट एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस पॉइंट ओके फर्स्ट वन so what we will do we just multiply 1 by 9 the answer is 9 next we multiply 3 by 3 so 3 multiply 3 what should be the answer the answer is 9 yes very good so these are the this is these are the equivalent fractions i hope you understand let's do one more let's solve this part sorry this part now here by making cross look what is 1 multiply 40 the answer is 1 multiply 40 answer is 40 next is 10 multiply 1 the answer is 10 so these are different so these are the not equivalent fraction okay this is not a equivalent fraction i hope you understand now similarly you have to check this okay in question number two you have to solve this and check so i'm just telling you that this will be the true because both the answer will be 280 and this is also true because both the answer will be 286 yes and here this is a this is really the false because one side we got 50 other side we got 40 50 is not equal to 40 okay so this is about the worksheet 4 now there are the types of fractions now remember these are very important and you are going to solve questions based on these types of fraction in next class here just the definitions and some things let's look okay so first is a like fractions so here the keywords is same denominator okay fraction having the same denominators are called a like fraction okay those fractions which are having the same denominators okay now look in all these examples the denominator is same that is 10 so all the fractions which are having the same denominator are called the like fractions we are not dealing we are not considered or we are not bothered about the numerator numerator can be anything but if we have a fractions two or more than two fractions having the same denominators then we call them as a like fractions and unlike fractions kya ho jayenge? fractions having the having the different denominators okay jinka denominators different which i numerator same ho, wo concern nahi hai. we are not concerned with the numerators okay numerator can be anything but if the denominator is same then like fractions numerators are different then they are the unlike fractions these are the example of unlike fractions there are some more types like proper fractions here fractions where numerators are smaller than the denominator okay numerator are smaller than the denominator are called proper fractions those fractions in which numerator is smaller numerator is smaller means jo upar wala number hai wo chhota hoga to wo kaun si fraction hogi proper aur fractions in which numerator is greater jin mein numerator bada hoga wo kaun sa hoga that will be the improper fractions now one more thing important point is the value of proper fraction जो भी हमारी proper fraction की value होती है is always less than 1 is always less than 1 and value of improper fraction is always greater than 1 okay. value of proper fraction is always less than 1 and value of the improper fraction is always greater than 1 and if numerator is equal to denominator okay तीन ही केस हो सकते हैं या तो हमारा जो numerator है वो छोटा होगा या बड़ा होगा या फिर equal होगा तो छोटा होगा तो proper fraction बड़ा होगा तो improper fraction और अगर equal होगा तो उस if numerator is equal to denominator then the fraction represent the number 1 तो उस, उस, उसकी जो fraction है वो कौन से number को represent करेगी number 1 like 4 upon 4 this will represent number 1 okay 
so i hope you get it that there are two more types of fractions like unit fractions unit fractions having one in the numerator the i wrote only one like 1 upon 10 2 upon 10 sorry not 2 upon 10 1 upon 11 1 upon 2 all these are the unit fractions so those fractions having one in the numerator are called the unit fractions and the mixed number improper fractions now remember only improper fractions can be written in the mixed numbers okay improper fraction kya hoti thi jinka numerator kya hota tha bada hota tha improper fraction kya hoti thi wo, wo fractions jinme numerator is greater than the denominator written as the combination of natural numbers and a proper fraction is called a mixed number so these are the mixed numbers now hum isko read kaise karenge हम इसे रीड करेंगे टू होल थ्री अपॉन फोर टू होल थ्री अपॉन फोर इसे वन होल वन अपॉन टू एट होल वन अपॉन फाइव टेन होल वन अपॉन टेन सो स्टूडेंट प्लीज एक बार जब भी आप इसे रीड करेंगे प्लीज रीड करके देखना इसको खुद से ओके जस्ट ट्राई टू स्पीक इट आउट टू होल थ्री अपॉन फोर वन होल वन अपॉन टू एट होल वन अपॉन फाइव टेन होल वन अपॉन टेन so let's solve this tick all the like fractions now what are the like fractions jinke denominators same hote hain so this is only the like fraction because different denominators different denominators we are not concerned with the numerators in circle all the proper fractions now proper fractions kya hoti thi fractions having jiska numerator is greater than the denominator means jo upar wala number hai wo bada hoga denominator se so kon kon aa jayega yahan pe 8 upon 11 आएगे, then 7 upon 8, then 9 upon 10, 12 upon 15. Improper, again numerator is less than, means ऊपर वाला नंबर छोटा होगा, sorry ऊपर वाला नंबर बड़ा होगा, as compared to, I think I told you wrong, numerator is less than denominator and here numerator is greater than denominator, okay? So numerator is greater than denominator means जो ऊपर वाला number है वो बड़ा होगा improper में proper में छोटा होता है numerator improper में बड़ा होता है so improper 11 upon 7 35 upon 25 81 upon 72 15 upon 12 okay so proper fractions numerator is smaller than the denominator improper fraction improper numerator is greater than the denominator unit fractions having one in the numerator so 1 upon 8 1 upon 9 and 1 upon 11 now look this is not a 0 upon 1 is not a unit fraction because 1 is in the denominator not in the numerator and 1 upon 36 i hope you understand this now let's see a fraction whose numerator is less than its denominator means numerator is less than denominator so we have proper fraction is known as proper fraction an improper fraction an improper fraction the numerator will be improper mein kya hota hai? numerator is the greater than okay yaha pe aega greater fraction whose number is one is called usko kya bolenge jiska numerator one hoga usse hum bolenge unit fraction fraction whose num numerator is equal to its denominator means numerator and denominator dono same honge represent the number kaun sa number represent karta hai one a combination of a natural number and a proper fraction is called a mixed number okay this is type of a mixed number improper fraction improper fraction is always greater or more than one and proper fraction is always less than one okay now let's move to question number six yeah. in circle the mixed fraction so this is the mixed fraction and what we say it one whole one upon seven this is all a mixed fraction 6 whole 1 upon 3 this is also a mixed fraction 3 whole 2 upon 7 which of the following can be written as a mixed number now remember only the improper fractions can be written in a mixed numbers okay improper fractions kya hoti hai jinka numerator bada hota hai so now look find karenge jo hoga unko just circle ke mein so what this one then 11 upon 5 24 upon 9 and 25 upon 10 and 32 upon 13 all these fractions can be written as a mixed numbers 
ओके लेट्स मूव टू एक्सप्रेस एज अ डिवीजन सम सो फिफ्टीन अपॉन थ्री सो इसको डिवीजन सम में वेरी ईजी कैसे एक्सप्रेस करेंगे फिफ्टीन डिवाइड बाय थ्री इसके लिए फाइव डिवाइड बाय टू दिस इज द आंसर ओके दिस इज आंसर यू आई होप यू कैन डू दिस सिमिलर एक्सप्रेस एज अ फ्रैक्शन हेयर नाइन डिवाइड बाय फाइव इसको लिखेंगे नाइन अपॉन फाइव फिफ्टीन अपॉन फोर और बाकी आई थिंक आप कर सकते जस्ट अपॉन में लिखना है ओके डिविजन सम में फिफ्टीन डिवाइड का साइन थ्री फ्रैक्शन में नाइन अपॉन फाइव चेंज इन टू अ मिक्सड नंबर सो यू हैव टू चेंज दिस नो चेंज करने के लिए आई विल एक्सप्लेन डिटेल ओनली वन पार्ट ओके आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस पार्ट ऑनली फर्स्ट पार्ट नो वट वी विल डू वी डिवाइड आई टोल्ड यू इसका मतलब क्या था अभी पीछे देखा हमने थ्री को डिवाइड कर फोर को डिवाइड करना है थ्री से डिवाइड करेंगे सो थ्री वन सा थ्री दिस नो जब भी हमें चेंज करना है तो होल आता है नो रिमाइंडर सॉरी द डिनोमिनेटर शुड बी हेयर क्वेश्चन हेयर एंड रिमाइंडर हेयर ओके सो मीन्स इसका क्या हो जाएगा थ्री वन वन जो भी आपका दिस विल बी द क्वेश्चन ये क्या है आपका क्वेश्चन जो भी आपका क्वेश्चन आएगा दिस विल बी द रिमाइंडर एंड दिस इज द डिवाइजर जिससे आप डिवाइड कर रहे हो दैट दिस मीन्स जो भी आप इसको बनाओगे मिक्स नंबर में द डिनोमिनेटर विल नेवर बी चेंज इट विल बी द सेम ओके तो थ्री द सेम इज हेयर ओके डिवाइजर क्वेश्चन वट एवर वी क्वेश्चन कम इट विल वी विल राइट हेयर सो वट विल रीड इट वन होल्ड वन अपॉन थ्री आई थिंक आई शुड एक्सप्लेन वन मोर सो लेट सॉल्व दिस दिस इज फोर लेवल बिल्ड एंड फिफ्टीन सेवेंटी फोर सो फिफ्टीन फोर सा ओके फिफ्टीन फोर सा सिक्स स्टी सो दिस नो इसको मिक्स फ्रैक्शन में कैसे लिखना है जो भी हमारा डिनोमिनेटर है वो एज इट इज क्वेश्चन हेयर रिमाइंडर हेयर रीड क्या करेंगे फोर होल्ड फोर्टीन अपॉन फिफ्टीन आई होप नाउ आपको समझ आ रहा होगा फिफ्टीन जो होगा डिनोमिनेटर वो एज इट इज क्वेश्चन विल बी हेयर एज अ होल एंड रिमाइंडर इन द न्यूमिनेटर सो फोर होल्ड फोर्टीन अपॉन फिफ्टीन ओके ना लेट्स चेंज इन टू इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन ना चेंज कैसे करते हैं नाउ थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू प्लस वन ओके डिनोमिनेटर को जो भी होल है उससे मल्टीप्लाई कर देना है साथ वाला ऐड कर देना है सो थ्री टू द सिक्स सिक्स प्लस वन सेवन अपॉन थ्री एंड डिनोमिनेटर चेंज नहीं होगा ना जब हम चेंज करेंगे मिक्स नंबर में या फिर हम मिक्स इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन में चेंज करें या फिर मिक्स नंबर में चेंज करें डिनोमिनेटर विल नेवर बी चेंज इन बी पार्ट फोर मल्टीप्लाई सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर प्लस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव अपॉन फोर I hope you understand this. Now let's move to brain teaser. Here, which of the following is a proper fraction? Proper fraction क्या होती थी? When the denominator is less than the numerator is less than the denominator. So that is seventeen upon nineteen. Okay. Now fraction whose numerator is greater than the denominator is called an improper fraction. Now seven whole one upon five written as an improper fraction. इज तो इसको फाइव सेवन थर्टी फाइव थर्टी फाइव प्लस वन थर्टी सिक्स सो आंसर इज थर्टी सिक्स अपॉन फाइव नाउ हेयर इन डी पार्ट टिक द मिसिंग न्यूमिनेटर सो दिस इज अगेन कम फ्रॉम द इक्वलेंट फ्रैक्शन सो थर्टीन सिक्स जा सेवेंटी एट सो थ्री सिक्स जा एटी सो दिस इज द आंसर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन इक्वलेंट टू थ्री अपॉन सेवन सो थ्री अपॉन सेवन तो आंसर इज दिस वन Now let's move to question number two. That is fill in the blanks. So five upon six is a dash fraction. That is a proper fraction. Five upon six is a proper fraction. Three whole one upon seven is a mixed number. Nineteen upon seven is a improper fraction. One upon eight, one upon three, one upon sixteen are unit fraction. Fraction whose denominators are same are called Like fractions. Write the next three equivalent fractions. So, two, four, six. Now look this. What we are doing? Multiplying by two, multiplying by three. So multiply this by. So we eight upon twenty-four, ten upon thirty, and 
12 upon 36 okay now in here 1 upon 8 2 upon 16 3 upon 24 the answer is next will be 4 upon 32 5 upon 40 and 6 upon 48 question number 4 find the missing numerator or denominator so here the answer first now look 9 8 the 72 so 8 8 the 64 5 10 the 50 6 10 the 60 now look why, what number should we divide 45 to get 5? So that is 9. 9 cos 9 5 is so 45. And similarly, so 9 divide 54 by 9, we got 6. Divide by which number we divide 65 to get 5? That is 13. 13 divided by 39, the answer is 3. This is 3. Okay. Now complete the pattern. Now look, these are not the are fractions okay you have to equivalent fraction nahi hai, okay here the in here they mentioned the word equivalent fractions but there we don't mention the equivalent fraction just complete the pattern okay here they give you a pattern now first just try to understand the pattern 1 upon 4 1 upon 16 1 upon 64 means open numerator is 1 1 okay and what happened in the denominator 4 4 the 16 16 4 the 64 means multiply whatever number we come us ko hum kis multiply kar rahe hain 4 se okay so kya ho jayega pehla aa jayega aapka 1 upon 64 4 the 256 next again 256 ko hum multiply karenge 4 se we got 1054 okay now here now look 1 Treat this one as a one upon one. Now one, two, four, eight. One, two, the two, 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 the four, four, two, the eight. So next numbers, kya ho jayenge hamare? Sixteen in numerator and sixteen two, the thirty-two. Okay, fine. Now one, three, the three, 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 the nine, nine, three, the twenty-seven, twenty-seven, three, the eighty-one, eighty-one, three, the two hundred forty-three. So that's all about the unit. This unit nine. I so this is just an overview just go through this video two three times no need to learn or write anything just go through this and you will able to understand this okay thank you students